Good afternoon, everyone. It's a privilege to be joining you for evening prayer this Thursday. I'm Janet Killen. I'm recording from All Saints Church, Belmont. We worship on a Wabical country here and we give thanks to God for elders past, present and emerging. Thursday evening prayer, if you want to follow in the prayer book, starts on page 410. We will be reading Psalms 85 and 87 and that begins on page 311 and I'll be reading from Romans chapter 8 verses 9 to 17. Let us pray. The Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Let us rejoice and exult and give God the glory. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The Canticle, A Song of Joy. Be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who has made us and we are his. For we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good, his loving kindness is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The day is now past and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of lights, Receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Psalm 85 on page 311. O Lord, you were gracious to your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the iniquity of your people and covered all their sin. You put aside all your wrath and turned away from your fierce indignation. Return to us again, O God, our Saviour, and let your anger cease from us. Will you be displeased with us forever? Will you stretch out your wrath from one generation to another? Will you not give us life again, that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will hear what the Lord God will speak, for he will speak to his people, to his faithful ones, whose hearts are turned to him. Truly his salvation is near to those that fear him, and his glory shall dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall flourish out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. The Lord will also give us all that is good, and our land shall yield its plenty for righteousness shall go before him and tread the path before his feet. Psalm 87. He has founded it upon a holy hill and the Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things shall be spoken of you, O Zion, city of our God, I might speak of my kindred in Egypt or in Babylon, in Philistia, Tyre or Nubia, where each was born. But of Zion it shall be said, many were born in her. He that is most high has established her. When the Lord draws up the record of the nations, he shall take note where everyone was born. And the singers and the dancers together shall make their song to your name. God our Saviour, you sent Jesus into the world of sin and delivered him up to death for us. Kindle in our hearts the same love with which he loved his own to the end. 
who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the letter of the Romans, chapter 8, beginning at verse 9. But you are not in the flesh, you are in the Spirit, since the Spirit of God dwells in you. Anyone who does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, though the body is dead because of sin, the Spirit is life because of righteousness. If the Spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his Spirit that dwells in you. So then, brothers and sisters, we are debtors not to the flesh to live according to the flesh, for if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received a spirit of adoption. When we cry, Abba, Father, it is that very spirit bearing witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If in fact we suffer with him so that we may also be glorified with him. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The canticle, the song of Christ's glory. Christ Jesus was in the form of God, but he did not cling to equality with God. He emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in our human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The Collect. Almighty God, whose beloved Son for our sake willingly endured the agony and shame of the cross, give us courage and patience to take up our cross daily and follow him, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Let us pray for the world and for the church. We pray for the peace of the world the leaders of nations and for all in authority. Especially at this time of pandemic, we pray for wisdom and compassion for all who are making restrictions and for those enforcing them. We pray for the welfare of your Holy Church, Lord. In particular, we pray and give thanks for our Bishop, Peter, with Sonia and Charlie, our assistant bishops. We pray for the people and clergy of the Diocese of Guadalcanal, for the clergy and people of the parishes of Morpeth, Marundai, Karikari, Mount Vincent and Weston. We pray for the staff and students and their families and the school chaplains of Bishop Tyrrell Anglican College. We pray for our ministries and for those with whom we minister and pray that we may bear much fruit. 
We pray for seasonable weather and for an abundance of the fruits of the earth. We pray that we may share with justice the resources of the earth and live in trust and goodwill with one another. We pray for the aged and the infirm, for the bereaved and the lonely, for the sick and the suffering, and all who care for them and sit with them. We pray for the First Peoples of the Diocese, especially the Awabakal, the Baripi, the Darkanyung, the Gawigal, the Kamilaroi, the Waramai and Wanarua peoples. We pray for the poor and oppressed, for prisoners and captives, for all who are persecuted, whether it be for their faith, their gender, their sexuality, their educational and social standing, for their abilities or lack of abilities. We pray for ourselves and for each other. We pray in particular for emergency and essential service personnel, health professionals, especially those on the front line at testing clinics and vaccination clinics, and we give thanks for vaccines and pray for those still researching vaccines and treatments for COVID-19. We praise you, Lord God, for the communion of saints and for the glorious hope of the resurrection to eternal life. Be present, merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest on your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Rest well this night. Good night. <laughs>